There we go. Hey, you can hear me? Yeah. All right. She need it though. She's got the biggest voice. First of all, we're in New York, right? So how we say hi? Yeah. Thank you. You should know this by now. I do, but I just got back here. Let's not worry about the details. Anyway, <laughs> would you like to introduce us and what we're here for? All right. So first of all, I want to say thank you for everybody showing up for this panel. So I love y'all. Y'all right? so melanated. Y'all smell good too. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. So um, this panel, we're discussing creating safe spaces for um, POC and black nerdy women. So um, I, myself, Chatty Patty from the Black Rama Podcast, AKA Madam Straw Hat, AKA This My Pirate Ship, AKA I Am The Buster Call. And I have with me. Hello, hello. If you listen to the podcast, you know I am Sleepy Bree, AKA T Sippin' Bree, always ready to take a nap. No, I am not going to after parties. I'm going to bed. <laughs> and also, I'm a little bit simpler. I'm Tammy from Hub Taku. So if you know Hub Taku, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what inspired this panel, last year we went to um, Kinks and Curls and they had a beautiful panel talking about different texture hair and cosplay and embracing your true natural self and also being able to be whatever cosplay, whatever character you want to be, despite what people might say. You know what people. Um, so that inspired us to want to talk about, it opened the door for conversation to have about having safe places for nerdy women. Cause um, it's not easy. It really isn't. So I wanted to go and talk about our experiences being nerdy women in the community. So Brie, how was it for you? I will probably say, proudly say, I am the worst type of fan if you listen to anyone on social media. Not only am I into all that girly nonsense, I am happily a shipper, I am happily a BL Fujoshi, and I am happily a Baku Deku shipper. So if you heard anyone online, you know I am the bane of every existence. I am the toxic in the fandom, apparently. And I hear that all the time, I'm like, what? I'm only over here enjoying my life, enjoying my media, watching my anime in my own home. Why are people getting so mad online? Why do I have to like every time scroll past someone, I hear someone, I'm not gonna name a gender, I'm not gonna name anything else, but rolling their eyes. So I feel like a lot of our time as a fan, we are doing these just in private with our only connection online. These cons are so great because we can see each other, but a lot of times, all you get is that kind of toxic online discourse. And you know, the more niche you get, the more minority labels you add to yourself, the more people seem to be ready to hate on it. Like all those Hinata isn't blacks, all those this kind of person can't do that, all those how many of y'all have heard that girls don't like anime? We're just doing it for clout. We're just doing it to get the guy's attention. Oh. And Sailor Moon can't be Goku. I said it with my chest. <laughs> right, so that, that is really what I've experienced for a while, being black in fandom, enjoying cosplay, but being too nervous to possibly do it, not knowing how to do my own hair, so I make it up and buy some stuff off Amazon. And, you know, it, it gets you, but at the same time, it's things like that, seeing you guys gather here, seeing other people in these spaces, that gets me so hyped to like strip down half naked in 30 degree weather <laughs> and pretend I'm a character. I love it. That is my fan experience. Um, mine was undercover. I'm not going to hold you. Um, in high school, um, I used to watch my animes in VHS. Don't, don't do the math. Um, and um, I had a classmate of mine who had a brother who had an ill anime collection, right? So every time he would come to school, he'd give me a VHS and we swap. My first anime was Fist of the North Star. And um, what ended up happening was when we left class, we never spoke to each other. He would have his friend group, I would have my friend group. My friend group never knew I was into anime, never knew I drew, none of that. And when we were in class together, you would have thought that was like my best, best friend. He opened up a whole new world for me. 
And every time I go to a con, I'm always looking in the crowd to see if I see him. I never saw him to tell him that he changed my whole perspective and what art is and what storytelling is and what it really means to be a nerd, right? So if he's out there, this podcast is for you, right? And um, another thing too, I was never, like when I did come out and people did start seeing that I was like embracing the nerd culture, I wasn't embraced. So I had to really dig and look for people that were like me, that understood what proper representation was in the anime community, the lack of. And when I found it, I held on to it for dear life. And I'm so happy I'm, I found it, but we need more of it. So that's why this panel exists. And hopefully I get to see more of you after this, but we'll talk about that later. So Tammy, how's it been? Like, how, how's your experience? Yeah, um, so a lot of people know me on Twitter and stuff, big Pokemon fan. Um, I would say that's where I really started everything uh, in terms of anime. But I didn't know that I was watching anime when I woke up at 3 a.m. and saw Inuyasha playing on Adult Swim. Oh, I didn't know that was anime. Not <laughs> that. I didn't know that was anime, so I guess, you know, kind of learned along the way trying to really embrace anime because I never grew up liking it. Um, I think a lot of people made fun of me for it, just like, you know, a lot of people can relate here. Uh, so I never embraced it, never really liked it until I actually met Patty, Bondi, Clay, uh, a bunch of people on Clubhouse. Oh, Clay here? Yeah, what up? Yeah, he's right there. Hey, what up, boo? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I met a lot of these, guys, uh, these people on Clubhouse where we talked anime, we made group spaces, and that was only as of, like, last year? Yeah, last, last year. year. Last year. Uh, I really started embracing my love for anime. Otherwise, never really liked it. Uh, kind of just watched it whenever I got the chance to, but never really caught up. But these guys really taught me how to love anime. So, love it here. That yeah. is what we need to do as fans. A new fan is still a fan. Oh, of like, course. Like, none of that, like, oh, that's all you did so far? Okay. It's all right. Like, if you find someone who's not into it, it is your duty as a fan to make them addicted. To lock them in a room and say, okay, here's the first hundred episodes of One Piece. I'll see you in two days. Let me know what you think. She said, she said the magic words. Right? Okay. Give them at least a few episodes of Death Note here and there. You know, teach them our ways. Uh, uh, speaking of um, new fans and being a good provider for the community, um, there's a clip I wanted to show you guys before we get started. Um, is it playing? It's not playing. It looks like it's glitching. It's glitching? We have a little technical difficulty. We have a technical one. Sorry, we didn't get time to really prep this. Yeah. It's rough this year. All right. All right. Is it playing? Let me know if you guys can see it. This is so ghetto, but it's all right. We're in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's playing. No audio? Did you plug in the audio, Jeff? Yes, you did. All right, so this is what happened, right? <laughs> so um, a girl on TikTok made a clip and said, where are all the nerds at? I just want to converse with a thick nerd who likes anime and I could watch anime with, right? This guy comes in and stitches the clip and says, you don't want a nerd like that. What's your Crunchyroll watch list? What is your Pokemon deck? What is your D&D status? So, um, yeah, that's what I said, what? So- I if you don't got a D&D status, you're not a real anime nerd. Doesn't count apparently. So I don't know. Have any of y'all seen that TikTok? I'm sure it went around. It went it went viral you know? for a bit, and the comment section went crazy. So this is what influenced the panel too. I want women to understand that you don't have to be quizzed for your fandom. Like what you like, and if anybody comes and says, "Hey, did you see episode 45?" and um, what shoes he had on. And when the credits were playing, who made that song? What studio? No. I like it because I like it. I like the OP. All right? That's it. 
Nobody should ever have to question you just because you're a woman or a, P a black woman or a POC woman on what you like. Nobody should question your fandom at all. If they do, tell them to come see me. I'm, you know, y'all know I'm from Brooklyn, right? For sure. Yeah, tell them to come see me. But um, yeah, so have you ever been questioned for your fandom, Brie? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Like I mentioned earlier, I am the worst type of fan. Um, so a lot of times if we walk into a room, we walk into a meetup, it's hard for us to put ourselves out there and really start to meet people. Like sometimes if it's just at work, you can't really be giving out your, your Tumblr or Twitter account sometimes. Uh, if you're still in school or if you're going to college or younger school, you can't exactly meet up with people that easily. So a lot of times you want to go to these meetups. And when you go to the meetups and you look something like us, you know, you have to kind of prove yourself a little or people will come at you with questions. Now, I want this to be an educational space. Anyone who's here, not even just the women, the ladies, not even just POC, I hope you can listen and take this as an educational experience of what not to freaking do people if you start talking to someone, respond to their questions as well. Don't just have, uh, don't just sit there and kind of go ranting. So the experience I had was someone sat down, I said, oh no, I haven't seen that show yet. And for the next 30 minutes, I was just subjected to them like continuously talking and explaining every episode they watched. And in one hand, it was a guy. great. It was a guy. He I had chapped lips. <laughs> I'm not gonna give any details. Sometimes it's cold. And no, you he, already he didn't exposed have chapstick it. With him. He didn't have the chapstick with him. I know that he day. didn't. That's not his fault. It's always somebody that's not moisturized, that's always got the time to ask you questions that they shouldn't be asking. You know that. You didn't have to say that. I already knew. Go ahead. Know, I'm sorry. Okay, well, Go ahead. It's fine to share enthusiasm, but sometimes, and I'm just warning any of our fellow guys in the audience, when you're talking to someone, don't assume they don't know what anime is. Don't assume they've never seen anything because they only ever watch Fruits Basket because they're a girl and they only like that show though. <laughs> don't assume you have to explain, well, anime, actually anime is short for animation in Japan. It's, oh, don't do that. We get it. Don't do that. We all want to have don't a good time together, have fun, chat it up, see about new series. Right. But. Just remember, if you're talking to someone, talk to them as a person who might actually know their sorry, stuff as well. Yeah, and just personal experience, no names, no places. But yeah, I'm sure a lot of you have also been through that first time at a meetup and someone wants to explain to you that you have to read manga the other way than comic books. Tammy? <laughs> so, uh, ever a situation where I've been questioned? I think I'll start with Pokemon because a lot of people know that I love Pikachu, big fan. Uh, but I get questioned a lot, what other Pokemon do you like? It can't, like they, they always assume it's Pikachu and all the cute ones. But I actually really am a fan of all of the, the dragon types and all the other kinds too. <laughs> um, but a lot of people just assume I like the cute stuff. And it comes to, when it comes to anime, a lot of people just assume I like magical girls. So like I'm yeah. a big Sailor yeah. Moon rep. But I like other types too. Uh, Bonnie introduced me to Marmalade Boy, one of my favorite Ooh. animes. <laughs> uh, but I do like other stuff. I think a lot of people assume that I like cute stuff, maybe how I dress myself or how I present myself. So a lot of people assume, hey, you nah, like cute stuff. Nah, it's because we're women. Let's be real, it's because we're women. <laughs> Fair. It's because we're women. Um, I, I think that would be a start, especially if you're talking to a woman about anime or anything like that. Don't assume it's always going to be cute stuff. It's not always going to be magical girl. I'm a big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! myself, so I love TCG. <laughs> I'm a big TCG collector, so we can talk about TCG all day, and I'll be able to out talk you on that for sure. Patty? I'm glad you said that. Yeah. All right, I don't know if you saw a TikTok that <laughs> I made recently. So I said, if all you watch is Battle Shonen, I'm pretty convinced you don't open up your ass cheeks to let the water in. So, <laughs> and it's always, and it's no offense to anybody that likes Battle Shonen, but I feel like you need to broaden your horizons if you want to come and be like critiquing other people and what they like and what genres they like. I don't, thank you. I don't, I don't think it's terrible for me to have to start up a conversation to let people know that, but I started off at this 
with this stage and this, this for you to understand what I'm about to tell you is about to be facts. It's, it's all facts. It's entitlement. It's that entitlement. It we're is. We're not saying you can't just like battle children. We're not saying it's bad to be down for Dragon Ball Z. We're not. We're not. What we're saying is if you're going to step to us, at least have a resume. At least have your own credentials in order before you start quizzing us. I thought I was toxic. Dang. <laughs> she took over. But she took over. It always happens. They just assume we're new like we ain't been here for the last 10 20 30 years like we weren't watching that stuff just like they were listen yeah some of y'all started with tsunami i didn't have the pleasure of starting out tsunami i'm a little older than some of y'all do you know how many viruses i got in my computer <laughs> for downloading stuff or pirate um what is it pirate bay all those different torrents my computer was begging me to stop was i stopping no you know why because i wasn't going on youtube to watch an episode of one of my favorite shows cut three parts three part youtube that's my generation Sailor Moon was cut into 20 something parts for one episode and they never never had part two did y'all have experience that they never had part two in english it was always in german see and, Thank you. But that's but, but that's not even the real struggle. It's when you download the series, you spend a week downloading the series. The computer hot. Your room is is hot because the computer's on overnight, right? And then all of a sudden you like, woo, it's done. You hit play, no <laughs> subtitles, no subtitles. You like really, really? Now of course no subtitles. But who learned Japanese overnight? Me. <laughs> I'm not playing. I'm going to find out what happened to this episode. I am. And that's just to say, we've been down in the trenches. Anime ladies, you know we've been here. Even if you just got here, you know you're ready to dip right in. You don't need to have your fandom challenge like that. No. But at the same time, which goes into kind of a next segue, you don't got nothing to prove. If you are a straight up card captor girl to the bone, own the full collection, own every outfit she did. If you are a clamp lady, if you are a shoujo, if you watch Peach Girl twice, once Amen. in dub, once in sub, you are still just as much a fan. Like, yes. So we were gonna answer, have there times that you have felt the need to prove it? Because honestly, if you get questioned, the correct answer is, who asked you? You don't need to know, I like what I like, period. But right. sometimes it is hard to come with that attitude, come with that energy. Right. So, yeah, have you ever felt the need, or what's it like for you when you have kind of caved in and, like, felt the need to show them, no, 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 I like Shonen, too. I watched all of Naruto. No, I do. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I do that. Like, when I'm ready to go in on, on somebody who's questioning me, I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't even know what studio made this. Relax. Who sing that OP? Did you see my playlist? But then I'm like, why do I have to do that? I sometimes when I start off a conversation with somebody that don't use, um, you know, deodorant, and they come to me and they say they start questioning, I have to put out my stats. Women, don't do that. I've been doing it for years, and I realized that you have nothing to prove. You really don't. Nobody should be asking you any questions. And I want to make this perfectly clear. This is not. I'm not here to bash men. I just want us to come together, but most importantly, I want to protect who I love more than anything, and it's my POC and black women, because when I see y'all together, y'all give me like so much energy. Y'all my gas, y'all my gas. I, when I told you I passed out going to Artist Alley looking at all the beautiful cosplays with sisters with melanin, oh I'm like, God. oh my God, you serious? My cosplay Yo. ladies, thank you. I appreciate thank y'all. Thank you, all of you freezing your toots off, boobs out, butts out, thank you. We know we're doing it for the cause. Yes, You're yes. doing it to support. Yes, and for the other guys that are not toxic, if you see your friend about to approach um, a cosplayer who's a woman and about to harass her, check him. You may not be part of the problem, but by you do not doing anything to hold your friend accountable, you are part of the problem. So, um, like I said, this is a space where I want all of us to come together. And our main priority right now is to make sure that we have a safe space, uh, a safe space as POC black women to make sure that we can geek out, have fun, cosplay, watch our anime, read our manga, discuss chapters, discuss episodes, discuss, uh, um, karaoke, like, like, I 
could say anime OPs all day long. Without knowing any of the words. First of all, that's, they didn't ask you to learn the words in karaoke. You just sing your heart's content, okay? All right? And um, Tammy, have you ever felt the need to prove yourself? Uh, proving my, since I kind of more, am more recent, I don't think I have to prove, but I Ooh, do. you heard that? That's a bar, okay? <laughs> I do see that a lot of people do question me, like for example, when it comes to Naruto, they love asking me, what are my top three favorite fight scenes? And I'm like, I'm not gonna list you my top three favorite <laughs> fight scenes. That's just not gonna happen. But so I do wanna go back really quick on the thing you just said mm -hmm. um, about creating a safe space. Uh, one of the things um, I cosplayed back at DreamCon and as Chun Li, and I know that people came up to me and asked. She for got photos. the thighs, y'all. She got the thighs. She uh, was young. <laughs> and because of that, a lot of people wanted to come up and you know take photos and stuff, which is fine. But I think as a woman cosplaying as well, when you are coming up to a woman to ask them, "Hey, can I take a photo?" Don't just assume like, "Hey, I'm gonna go in and grab her shoulder." That's no, a no. Can we go in on that? Okay, yeah. guys. Here are the laws of convention <laughs> for cosplayers. One. Keep your dang hands to yourself. If you know someone, if you know them like that, you can say, hey, hey, bud. Right. If you know someone, if you don't, do not assume they're cool grabbing you or you grabbing them. No. Rule number two, no unsolicited photography. If you want a, a picture, you ask for a picture. Don't just like, mm -hmm. no. If you will feel awkward about them seeing you take a picture, then you shouldn't be taking the picture. Right. Any other like core rules? No touching, no hands. Okay, yeah. Thank you. In case y'all didn't hear, just because I look like your waifu doesn't mean I am your waifu. Don't That's come facts. at me like that. Okay? Right, right. This is a fun place for us all to be, but just for you guys who are listening, I want this to be an educational experience for you to know there are some things that are very uncomfortable. We are all here having fun. We are all here looking fantastic, doing our best, showing up in ways we can't just walk down the street on a Tuesday. And we all want to enjoy <laughs> it, but things that can limit it is not keeping your hands to yourself, taking a random stalker picture of me from far behind, ooh, continuously following someone. If you want a picture, you get them on the spot. Do not follow them through half the con, give me your courage up. You find a homie, gather yourself in a corner, and then approach from the front, politely. And just because I am your waifu doesn't mean, or just because I look like your waifu doesn't mean I am. So just keep that in mind. You need to get that, that patent. Everyone, I like that. Right? Just because I'm dressed as your waifu don't mean I am. I want that. Get that patent. <laughs> we'll talk later. That's a business right there. I like that. Yeah. Now, um, the reason we say that this is problematic, well, Bree already gave us the rundown of what we shouldn't do. But the reason we say this is problematic is because I do want unity in the community because it's all in numbers, right? This is why Crunchyroll is the way it is. We're able to stream. Y'all have, when I tell you anime is so much more accessible than it was 10 years ago, my God, like, oh my goodness. And, 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 and it's not just Crunchyroll. We got Netflix, they're trying. Um, we got Hulu. We got Amazon. Oh, I was Amazon to Target and I saw Demon Slayer t-shirts at Target. You didn't see that five years ago. No, no. And, 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 and I want more of that. And the only reason we can get more of what we love is if we come together as a community and the anime community grows. Because I'm trying to see more of my mangas turn into anime and I want to see them get picked up. Okay, and the only way that can happen if we got more people going to Barnes and Nobles and purchasing or books <laughs> these, a million, books a million. Yes, shout out to books a million. Shout out to books a million because they will sell you the hell out of a box set. Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Okay, speaking of safe spaces, a quick bit of bookstore etiquette as well. We always say support your creators, buy the books. If you're in bookstores and someone's coming up to you, let me reverse that. If you see someone you like at a bookstore and you want to come up to them. First of all, again, do not follow them through the aisles. I don't know why I gotta say this, but never follow people around. <laughs> I know you're trying to get your courage up, but whether it's at a con or at Barnes and Nobles in the manga section, do not follow people around. Mm. You gotta get your guts up, go ahead, but say, hi, I like that series. Mm. Uh, so that's just some bookstore etiquette. Do not challenge them on what they're reading or spoil anything. Yeah, yeah. someone did that to you?
Oh, don't do that too. Don't do that too. Don't question if I read the manga. I don't care. We're not talking about the manga. We're talking about the anime. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I, that's just one of those things that happens. But it's all in the same vein in that sometimes you just have to be a little aware in the back of your head that sometimes it's not taken, even if you mean it as a joking way, sometimes it's a little annoying when you get the same thing over and over and over again. Like a mosquito bite. One bite of a mosquito isn't so bad. Can he beat Goku though? Not so bad. What's your top three favorite shonen protagonist with pink hair? Not so bad. But when you get this regularly, as a lot of us do, it yeah. starts to get a little frustrating. So first, get to know people, be more open, because that's how we really build up our community and make these places more fun to be and interact with each other. So before, um, I just want to say this, before we start um, with the questions, I just want to say this to um, everybody in the audience, right? Especially um, my women. Don't be discouraged. I used to get discouraged every day for liking the things that I like. That man right there with the Wu-Tang Clan shirt, that's my husband. Um, when we first started dating, he never knew that I was into anime and comic books until I introduced him to my family and he went in my room. Oh my God. You didn't hide it under the bed? No, I got a bookshelf. Why am I put the whole books in the bed? Yes, knock it over, say something wrong with you. No. At the time, I wasn't ready, right? And then when he got in the room, he was quiet, and he was like, oh. <laughs> this what you like? He's a full-on nerd. Full-on nerd. He sat there, he watched Emu Yashiki without me. Not Emu Yashiki, Emu Yashiki, that's a good anime. You guys should check it out. He sat, you know how when you start an anime with a couple, and we always make a decision, we'll watch it together? No, not this man. Not this man, that's it. I, you know, I get that one phone call, like, when I'm on the train, come up, how far are you? I'm just playing the OP, I'm not really all in yet, but I'm just, I'm just letting you know, it's here, how, how long are you gonna take? But um, I was, I realized that I shouldn't have to be like that, hiding what I love. And as, as black women there, there's, and POC women, we don't really have spaces where we could be ourselves, where people could just be like, oh, that's so cool. You know, I like that too. And then you don't get that, you get that vibe when, when you're like, yeah, I like this. And they're like, really? What, am I supposed to love Megan the Stallion only? Even Meg likes anime. Megan like, the Stallion. Oh, we all gotta applaud Megan the Stallion for her fantastic cosplay. I mean, she's Just always showing doing what it. we can do and how like, oh she's yeah, yeah, y'all thought we weren't over here? <laughs> like, who did you think that character was based off of? I mean, she got the cheeks, but I'm just saying, um, don't be discouraged. There's gonna, the world is going to question you every single day. You could be cute, you could be pretty, you could be um, gothic, you can love whatever you wanna love. You can love your anime, you can love your graphic novels, you can do your, please write more fan fiction. We're, we're living for that. Please. But don't stop. Don't question yourself and what you like. As long as you're not hurting anybody, you fuel us. Every time when I see a beautiful black woman and a POC woman downstairs wearing a beautiful graphic tee of either my favorite anime character or a series, something in me just floats. I feel like I'm doing a Sailor Moon transformation in my head when I see it. <laughs> so don't stop because we want the kids from tomorrow to see that this is right here. This is not a niche. Be who you are. If you want to cosplay on a Tuesday, cosplay on a Tuesday. I'll be there with you taking pictures if you need. But we just need to see more of it. I'm tired of hiding. I'm tired of having cold, you know how you like, you watch this for real, for real? Like, you know, you have to get that little validation first before you don't geek out so the person don't think you're weird. Right, making sure, like, do they know what little character's on their keychain? Yeah, like, that's, that's... That's how it used to be. I don't know how many of you had this experience growing up, where you'd look around, you'd see someone, like, just who you see often, again, class or work or school or wherever, and it's like, wait, I recognize that character. Are they? Could it be? Is it really? Are you really best friend ever? <laughs> like, I tell this story all the time that when I was in college, I was so nervous about talking to people. I was a huge nerd. And there was this girl who sat in Watch front of me Watch. in my English class with her laptop out. And whenever she stopped touching the screen, her screensaver came on. Danganronpa came on her screensaver. Yo Mushi Kettle went on her screensaver. 
She had all the grades. Tell him what you said to her. Nothing. She didn't speak to her the whole semester. Okay, she so never said me. anything to her. Me. Let me get it. So, guess what I said to her? Nothing. The entire <laughs> semester, I was sitting there nervous. It's like I knew. And like, I feel okay. like she knew I knew, and I knew she knew I knew. But neither of us were ready to just like talk to each other and kind of like pop that bubble. Fast forward to like a year later, some other mutual friend introduced us, and I heard from her that apparently that entire first semester of college, three months, both of us freshmen, she was staring at me up and down our campus because I had an Attack on Titan backpack and she wanted to say hi. We are now good friends, but that just goes to show sometimes. But look how long it took though. Look how long it took though. You see? You I see? Know, but we need to build that confidence and regularity yes. that when we just see someone on the train at the bookstore, hell, even at a con, it was a minorly known series we don't know that that's not too well known outside of it, that we're ready to just straight up say hi. Hi, being normal, not following people, again, no unsolicited touching, again, I am not your wife, one more time for the folks in the back. <laughs> just building that confidence. I feel like that is the point of having safe spaces like this, having safe spaces like meetups, places where we don't have to be worried or afraid to kind of just come out and go for it. And support your favorite content creators like us. And also, Tammy. <laughs> I wanted to touch that last point about um, creating a safe space as well and why it's important. So one big thing at Hataku is that we're all about supporting content creators just like Patty. Uh, and a bunch of other content creators here as well. Um, there's content creators in this alley right behind us here that are making their own mangas. They are drawing their own characters, OCs, and stuff like that. It's important to create spaces talking about anime and making it safe for us as women and everybody alike because they get to create those kind of things and we get to all enjoy it as well. So please do go support them as well. I did wanted to uh, promote Gigi. She is back there. Um, her first, uh, first volume is back there. We did go buy a copy yesterday. Hopefully you guys can support her as well. Yeah, um, we got a panel at seven o'clock. Um, diversity in manga. You guys should definitely pull up. I'm be the moderator. And with that, we did want to open the floor if anyone has questions or like testimonials or things they experience they want to talk about. Just line on up in the center. We're going to have a mic coming down. And again, it's anything you want to say whatsoever. Feel free to just shout or say how much fun you're having. <laughs> Or even like give praise to a favorite favorite cosplayer you've seen today. Yes, <laughs> appreciate also, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, Hi. thank you. Wakanda forever. Hi, how are you? Hi, uh, my name's Diana. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you, not just to all of you, but everyone here. Um, I think you've done a really good job of creating a really welcome space for trans women as well in here. Of course. Uh, which I identify as. Woo! Of course. Really nice. But I, I thank you for that. And we definitely need more, more people like you. So thank you. Thank you for speaking. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Um, so I'm not a woman. I'm non-binary. But what can I do as a white person? <laughs> oh. To help create a safe space for you guys as well. Yeah, yeah. That's the important thing you that's can do true. Is just be yourself. That's yeah. the most important thing. Just be yourself and everything just flows. That That's true too, but here's the thing. Oh. I feel like I don't want no allies. I want accomplices. I want you to rob the bank with me. <laughs> so I need you, like, like, really seriously, listen. You know, uh, when your friends of color are telling you we hurt, or this doesn't feel right, it's okay to actually be like, all right, what do you need me to do? That's what makes an accomplice. Everybody's quick to say, you know, they're allies until they get their feet dirty. Exactly. It's not an easy process. Your feet will always be dirty and we will appreciate you for that, you know? And thank you for coming up. Thank you for also, that question. One other thing, support black creators. Like if you see someone Sports. who's already worked, I'm not saying like just throw money at it because they're black, but if you see someone that's really into it, don't be afraid to like buy a few extra volumes or to like forward their posts. Honestly, by supporting people who do these things, it helps our community flourish and we really appreciate that. So yes. Thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, real quick before you go, um, I got a quick text message. This has been a theme. Um, Patty has been there for that as well, that when we started the clubhouse thing together, 
Uh, she and they get the first say in our communities here. Okay? Oh, so thank you. Yes. Absolutely, that's a good one. Hi, how are you? Mm -hmm. So he like stopped, he sent me on the track to like get into like all the anime and comic books. I love your dad. We love nerd parents. Yeah. Thanks. And so like when I go to school, uh, it took a minute for me to like find my own people. Mm -hmm. Cause even among the black community. And then it took a little longer online. So I had to like, I was trying to like see like, well, they, they like the things I like. And right. If I go in talking about the stuff I like, am I going to be met with a room of silence? Right. So like, it took a lot of time, and as like, I started maturing and going to high school, and then I started like getting more online and talking with more, more, more POCs online, I started like putting myself out there and knowing what to look for and just like taking that chance. Even at like, and that's like how I ended up at the like, and stuff. Hell, that's how I met my partner. Yes. They found it's out beautiful. that they, they were like a old friend from Elma from a, a great school, right? Mm -hmm. And I found that they liked the same thing I did. I'm just like, all right, this is my chance. So we started talking and then it just kind of went from there. First of all, I want to thank you for creating a space for you to find your friends and let them enjoy what they love more than anything. It's going to be hard, but we are out there. We are definitely out there, and that took a lot of guts and bravery, and you didn't give up, so that's awesome. Um, another thing, too, if you see on the screen here, I don't know if our logo's up and um, a QR code is up? The QR code? If, um, not, the yet. Q not yet? Not, not, yet. not yet. All right, so before you leave, right, um, go to HubTaku, right? Yep. Go to HubTaku.com. We'll have it up and definitely follow Black Ramen Podcast. We're gonna to try to create a safe space, a meetup for everyone. We're gonna have, especially one for POC, black women, to just talk about what we love, hang out, create a safe space, and talk about all the people that love Goku. <laughs> but no, I appreciate you. It's very hard. It took me years to find a, a, a group where I can just nerd out and geek out and just be loud and obnoxious and unapologetically black and nerdy. So the fact that you did that, first of all, shout out to Pops. Cause a lot, of, a lot of parents, they're, they're like, oh, um, will this get you with straight A's in school? Was, did you do your homework? And some of them, it's not their fault. It's more so they, don't be mad at them. They're trying to push you to get ahead in life, but yet also, Sometimes they don't know how to nourish your creativity and what your passion is, but it's up to you to fuel it, right? So when you do go out and try to look for your community that you can be yourself in, first of all, straighten yourself first, because there are gonna be obstacles where people are gonna be like, ew, that's what you like, nah. Get stronger, level up, right? You like that? Level up? No. I, love I like that. that. I like that. Nice. Yeah. Le yeah. <laughs> level up and then make sure that you are able to take whatever negativity that other people are going to give you and have the strength to look around. And if you don't see the community that you want, you build it. You make it. They're going to come. They're going to come. If you build it, nerds will come. They're yeah, they will. They will. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Also, I love your cosplay. The hair is like ridiculously cute. It's amazing. It's amazing. Black Ramen Podcast. Dot com. You can go on our email and then Hub Taku. Spell Hub Taku for everybody. H e t k u. Dot com. Yeah. So don't forget to email us too if you want to participate, so we can send you um, our meetups. So we can connect with every single person. Ladies and the Oh, the QR well code though. is up. The QR Sorry. code is up. So don't forget to scan it. And um, ladies and gentlemen, we got a Patreon. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to make sure that we eat ramen with a oh, real ramen Patreon packet there. with some real sausage, <laughs> uh, go to blackramen.com um, to our website. We do have a Patreon. We have our behind the scenes um, outtakes and everything. Uh, we appreciate you. B-L-A-C-K ramen. So, <laughs> just go on to that. Hi. Hi, y'all. Um, um, I'm Kalima. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. you. 
to add a little bit to the dialogue, it's not a definitive question. Um, but when we were talking earlier, I really appreciated the line of speaking about not having anything to prove. Um, I think there is something to be said about having to prove that you know all the members of the characters in the show, that you know all the show's environments. Maybe I just want cute girls and shit. I don't want to hang with y'all. Right? It's like, so cute. Um, Why can't I like magical girls? Right. You like, can. I have to like perform this thing of this is a real anime fan. A real anime fan likes of this, and um, there's space for all of us, even our cutesy little circle. I really yes. appreciate that just being. I don't got shit to prove to y'all niggas, so I feel the same way. Yes. Um, <laughs> the other thing that I also want to add though is that a lot of us, like you said, like we're black, we're women. And like in these spaces, a lot of us are also not neurotypical. Like most of my friends who I've met who are also not neurotypical like myself, mm -hmm. I have met in anime spaces. And so I do think as a community for a safe space, like I don't think some people realize how violent it is to really try and quiz people like that. Yes. A lot of us aren't neurotypical. A lot of us have two to three mental illnesses attached as well. And so going up to people, quizzing them, making them feel on the spot like that isn't even necessarily how they absorb the content. We have no idea how people are relating to the shows and the makeup and the artwork. And it's, uh, I think it's really appreciative that we can stand 10 toes and like, you don't have to prove yourself to be in the space. You don't have to like pay a fee, uh, name every character in the show to come to an event. Um, you cannot remember any of the names and you're still deeply invested in the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's just what it is. So I really do appreciate the fuck them, stand 10 toes for that. Great energy. Thank you so much. We appreciate you for coming too. Thank you. Hello. Hi. I'm just about these will have to be the last two questions because we're going to have to head off for the next person. But yeah, you two are great. Go ahead. Hello, my name is Hillary. I've been enjoying this very much. Thank, oh, thank you for coming. Um, I just wanted to say and talk more like about the policing of women, especially like in the anime community, and especially how like the things that mainly women like are always the things that are being attacked all the time right? in the fandom. Like shipping, shipping. is attacked, fan fiction is attacked, all kinds of BL and Fujoshi content is always under attack. It's always under attack, and it's always about like why do you like it? Why? It's always like a question of whether like women need to like incorporate themselves on like things that men like like to prove themselves that are like a fan like i always have my brother he's like a big fan he's like oh my god you should watch this show you ma anime and it's always like if you don't watch it like are you really like a fan but you never see guys watching nana or like watching me of like the most like feminine animes True. and so it's so because it's like they are equally good and they do have to like reset the space like just to consider it to be feminine is so stupid because it's just anime it's just like art right yeah so. and you need more story than fight ladies and gentlemen i'm not gonna hold you nana will make you cry but um in certain situations you might be able to learn your girl a little better i'm just saying there's some jose's out there that get a little spicy spicy you know if you don't want to <laughs> dive into the little hentai but the story is still good um, if you watch Magical Girl, change your life. I'm telling you, your drip will be amazing by the end of the series. I'm not holding you. And um, not only that, ladies and gentlemen, I need you to expand your genre of anime, right? Here's the thing. It's for my selfish reason. If you click on certain genres on Country Roll and Country Roll see that you like that genre, they're going to pick up more stuff. Viz Media will pick up more other genres of manga and be like, all right, let's put this into anime. I want to see it for myself. So if it's not for you, do it for me. Okay. <laughs> but definitely broaden your horizons. Look at other genres. There's nothing wrong with liking show, um, shonen. There's nothing wrong with liking just um, Jose or Seinen. But there's so much story out there that you could just fall in love with. And why limit yourself? Look, look at the, how big this con is. I want to I wanna add really quick, I can appreciate my boyfriend is really big into Magical Girl and stuff like that. I appreciate a guy Woo! that can be into that, so shout out to you, Bonnie. <laughs> shout out to Bonnie. Thank you. Thank you. Glad Thank you. Thank you. Hi. You're welcome. Hi. Hi. Okay, Hi. So, like, just Ellie. Ellie. Your drip right now. From Brooklyn. Actually, cosplay. Yeah. What up? What up? What up, my baddie? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Quick thing because, um, well, two quick things. One, uh, I have a young cousin, she's nine years old and everything like that, and she she just started getting into cosplay and everything. I'm over here giving my like my older cousin because that's her mom, like her cousin, my cousin is her, her mom, 
I've been giving her like tips on like how to like you know get her into gear for cosplay and stuff that's age appropriate. But like I want to know. But the first thing is how do you? What would be like? A, what are like some series that are like very like child appropriate, but like also would like engage her? Because oh. she's like she's like really sharp. She's really bright. Don't give her no. I I love magic. She likes it too, but mm -hmm. she wants something more challenging. Death Note. Yes. Death Note. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say My Hero Academia. My Hero? Okay. My Hero. My Hero. Okay. Really? Ajin? No, no, no. No. Attack on Titan? No. Oh, cool. Yes. It's too much? Yes. Too much? She's over here watching Nana at like nine years old. She's watching Nana? When you're ready, you're ready. See, that's what I'm saying. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, slime. That's a good one. Reincarnated as a slime. Pretty that's much good. any isekai is a good way to go. Most, as long as they don't get too blurry. But reincarnated as slime is really good. Jobless uh, reincarnation. Villainous, all live free to do. Yeah. No? There's a bunch no? of new like isekai <laughs> lady stuff coming no. out. Like it's where like girls are getting isekai to something about taming Ca the villain. No, taming the villain boss. Did that get an anime yet? I think so. I think it's a yeah. Fall it might be following right it, those kinds. So isekai with a female protagonist is a solid way to go. Okay. Gotcha. All, all good things. Ooh, yes. Yes. So we got to wrap this up because right. they're kicking off of, did you have one more thing? Okay. Um, I, I also appreciated what somebody said like, earlier was like bringing a neurotypical people into like the scene as well because I, I I used to be a caseworker for all people with developmental disabilities I still am in the field and everything like that but like, I, I really want that there were more like inclusivity for for um for like POC women who are like also who also have like different disabilities whether they are visible or not right because like it's I feel like it's definitely important especially since like there are more and more like series that are like being premiered as manga or even like anime, mm -hmm. live action that, that's, that discuss these topics. We definitely need that, yes. Thank you so yes, much. Thank you guys so much. We thank appreciate you, you coming. Wait, that's hold on, hold on. Don't forget, We're follow us. Down. Hold on, wait, hold on. We on Instagram. Oh, Black Ramen, po Black Ramen underscore podcast. We on Instagram. What's your, um... Haltaku, H-E-T-K-U. Follow us. Um, don't forget, um, listen to the podcast and the Patreon, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We like a little bit of coin, you know what I mean? So we can do more of these panels next year. Um, definitely um, email Crunchyroll, because we need panels like this. We need kinky and curly um, panels. We need panels for safe space for black people and POCs so we can hang and out. Judge, we make anime popping. I don't care. We make anime popping. If it wasn't for us, we may not be the biggest consumers, but we are the trendsetters. Understand this. Speak for yourself. Yes. I have to get out my wallet already. I'm hey. selling my kidney in an hour. I gotta get back to that artist alley. But that's it for us. Thank you guys. Thank you. Have a great class.